Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video and of course today is the day. Today is of course 4th of March and today is when they release the trailer for the newest Apex trailer. Now wonder now you're probably wondering what that possibly is and well if you haven't noticed the pre the law teases as they like to call them it is Caustic Town Takeover. Woohoo! Um, so that does mean a great few things coming. That means lore. That means new town area, whatever you want to call it. And of course, it's going to be on Kings Canyon. Can't wait to see where that possibly is. And a load more stuff. Brand new changes. Possibly brand new item. I don't know. Let's get into this. I'm just going to say it. And here we are at the trailer itself. Apex Legends Chaos Theory. Not to be confused with Slid Cell's uh, Chaos Theory either. Oh wait, they haven't had a new game in ages. Sorry, Splinter Cell th fans. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's that's evil, Reese. Well, of course it's an evil character. Let's get into this then. Ooh, the music's perfect. The strong will filter out the weak. I really like this the sort of music. Between life and death is measured by suffering. Okay, Caustic, good to know. Oh, they're taking over the plant. Hey, Bangalore! The Ring of Fury? Hmm. What the fuck is that? Wait, what? Stop, what? No, this is what? There's so many stuff in so. What? Sorry, what? What? I'd like this, but what? What? It's good. Great, 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 great. Okay. Okay, now. That's good. That's good. That's real good. That's real good. What is going on? Shooting? That's five. What? Wait, sorry. What now? What? This was an inevitable outcome. Don't. No, no. What is... Okay, this is perfect. You um... You don't deserve to die. <laughs> He's you dead, mate. You value your place in the world. Ew, this is interesting. Uh, right, before we go over the patch notes that I've also got up, if you haven't seen already, um, we will quickly have a look over this trailer because that went by so fucking fast and got so many different things in it. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Like, what? 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 <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> start from over here. <laughs> we'll go through it slowly. So we got gas. We had an awesome music track as well going on. Um, I'm trying to look through it to see. So here's a couple more skins, okay? We got this amazing skin on. It's, it reminds me of like uh, Italian Renaissance sort of thing. That's what I really like about it. So great, great and all. Uh, but there we go. Here's the also new skin. Kind of plays off the death theme, of course, but. I really like the new skin so far, but except for this bit, but I don't know. The hair is not to my liking on, uh, I presume it is. Could be wrong. Oh no! Fuck, it's Crypto! I'm being an idiot. Um, I thought it was Mirage for a second. Uh, then I just saw this, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's definitely Crypto. And it does make sense why he's trying to kill him. If you've read the book, they hate each other. If you know any sort of law, they hate each other. For a very good reason. Um, yes, we'll go into this. So, of course, here is the new town takeover. That is the what used to be known as the power plant. And now is Caustic, or I, what I like to say, Gas Daddy's um, new lair. Ooh. So that does mean there has now been officially, like, three different... Uh, town takeovers in the one map. So we've had Wraith, we've had oh, fucking hell, four even. Wraith, Octanes, Cryptos, and now Caustics. Alright, that's uh, sure. I'm pretty sure the whole map's gonna be town takeovers at this fucking point. Um, yeah, Chaos Theory. This is Bangalore's heirloom. I really really like it. Oh, that, that looks so fucking cool. 
And it's perfect for her. It's sodding perfect. It always, like, because the whole point is that it's not going to kill them when they first stab it in there. But that right there, oh, as you take it out, you're taking stuff with it. It's just Bangalore in a nutshell. It's almost like a sweet fucking like killing machine. Oh, what a I really like it. Oh wait 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 we saw the likes of uh, Revenant's new skin. It was all right. Oh, there we go. We've got someone else's new skin. I think that. Yeah, that's loads of new skins, as we already know. So, here's the new item that they introduced into the thing. It's the heat shield. Projectiles, a dome that projects the ledger from ring damage. Wait, what? Oh, protects the ledger from ring damage. I'm being a dyslexic fuck. Um... Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be interested to see what it actually does. I'll go through the patch to see what it probably does. I'm interested to see what it does. Well, except for when it's just the rain. Um, so this is... We've got the new cosmetics, blah, blah, blah. We've got this thing's new... What this area is known for. So obviously, it produces gas, hurts enemies. Cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, fuck it. How about we go... We go into what the patch notes is. So right here, I'll get bored of it anyway. Um, there's a lot of things coming on March the 9th, Okay, so we'll go. This is basically the, the thing, the bullet points. We have got the launch of Apex on Nintendo Switch, and if and I'm really excited for this. We've got a whole new player base coming in. I can play on my Switch. I've got so many people who own a Switch now. Like I think they sold about 10. 15 million upgrade Nintendo consoles? I can't remember. But a lot of Nintendo Switch consoles and a lot of people are new to this game. I'm really excited for them to join. I really am. Um, and then we've got the Corsic Town Takeover. Brilliant. Uh, the Ring Excavation Takeover, which we'll learn about more in a few minutes. The new Heat Shield item. Again, we'll learn about more. In and a accompanying survival slot. In the tree. Ooh! I wonder what that is. A no field queue option. What the fuck is that? Who is the fuck? Oh, well, I know that in a second. The Chaos Theory Collection event, of course, we've got all that other stuff. A chaotic blast of balance changes, of course. So, let's read this. On Tuesday, March 9th, Apex Legends is launching on Switch and support for cross platform play. Woohoo! Our latest seasonal content and full feature. Um, parity with other versions of the game so it just means the same thing on other devices I'm really looking forward to this uh, since we're launching a few weeks after the start of season 8 Switch players will be grown to 33 levels for their season 8 pass yay I like it for the first two weeks after launch play, uh, playing on the Switch will also earn you double XP makes sense plus to celebrate Switch players and welcome them to the arena we're also launching a legendary Pathfinder skin called Path as a free reward for players who booted up Apex Legends on the Switch between the game's launch and the end of Season 8. Cool. And that's on May the 4th. Interesting. Um, I will be certainly getting that at some point. Um, Corsic Town Takeover. Sorry about a little bit of lag. I've barely booted up my PC in the last couple of weeks. Uh, because I've been at work mostly. Uh, Corsic Town Takeover. When life gives you lemons, you can count on Corsic to turn it into toxic lemonade. Breathe it all in in the new Corsic treatment. A new dominant mousetrap with lots of high quality loot that beckons all legends to sit who seek the glorious cheese. Weird metaphor, but sure, let's go into this. Let's, let's just look at what, what it gives us. Where water treatment once stood, the new Corsic treatment, uh, treatment was constructed to prevent the press site's fuel spill. And reach the ocean. Or was it? For, uh, forever the scientists 
Further, the scientists caustic are set out an experiment that requires test subjects to drain the toxic liquid from the centre of the facility. Doing this tempor temporarily grants access to the four gold items locked in cages. Players must be quick, though, as greed can be deadly. So, meaning that you've only got a certain amount of time before, guess what, gas comes in. And I'm, what, from what I can tell, I think, um, I think Caustic is immune to the gas like he is to uh, his own type of gas. So, if Caustic players out there, you're fine. You probably get a gold item, so I don't have to worry about how long it's going to take. Um, if you happen to notice the Mirage Voyage is missing, you can blame it on Caustic. The polluted fumes from the Caustic treatment really killed the vibe. So the Mirage set sail to take the party elsewhere. No one spotted it yet, but that party boat tends up to show in any arena when you least expect it. Or in any arena, I should say. Alright, bye Mirage Voyage, you were a nice distraction. Can you go... So we're probably going to see it in, uh... <laughs> the next place which is uh, what's it called not in Kings Canyon Olympus there we go that's the name finally fucking remembered so yeah like I said this is new facility it's a bit deadly if you activate a thing you get items but you might have to get out quickly if you're not caustic perfect ring fury escalation takeover Heat shield and a survival slot. Intriguing what this is. Survival slot. Yeah, just the survival slot. Well done, please, for highlighting that stupidity. Ring Fury is the new Apex uh, playlist takeover that follows regular ba uh, BR rules, but each round, one or more ring players will appear on the map within the current ring. Ring players are also slowly expanding pockets of the ring within the arena. Maggie sure knows how to so yeah, we you know Maggie's responsible to all, for all these shit. Those who get caught up in the ring player will take damage equal to the damage dealt by the current ring's ring. You'll be able to give a short warning on the map and the minimum. So I'm guessing like if a red zone like in uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, but if you do not know what Player Unknown's, uh, what the Red uh, red Zones in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds means, it's just, it's basically, like I said, it's here, it, it will tell you on the mini map to say where areas of the map is, is where, uh, where you'll go, where it's going to hurt you, it's going to uh, decrease your health, and you just got to get out of that zone relatively quickly. So, it's going to act like that. I'm intrigued to see how this plays out. This is how there is other BR modes, like I said previously, that do this sort of thing. But we'll see how Apex do it because it is a smaller map with a small amount of players. Um, so how do you deal with ring players? Two ways. First, trying to get caught on them. Silly. Perfect. They're now insulting us. Failing that, you can drop a new item that we're introducing called heat shields. Okay, heat shields. They kind of remind me of Gibraltar's ability. This is not going well. Starting off well. During the ring escalation, um, ring fury escalation takeover, all players will start with the heat shield in their inventory on drop. Throw down your heat shield to avoid damage from the ring flares or from the ring itself. And remember that you can always find more. The loot pool from this event, uh, for this event, has turned to sp spread to heat shields throughout the map. Intriguing. I'm. I'm not sure about this. If I'm entirely honest, I don't know if it's similar to the way of like if it acts like a bullet sponge. That's or if it doesn't act like a, purely as a bullet sponge, mainly just so you don't get caught by a ring. If so, that's interesting. Heat shields cast a protective dome, pouring the deadly effect over the ring of Barry for a short time, enabling legends to loot, revive, and generally make some amazing plays outside the ring. Plus, when you're inside the dome, the use of the healing items is sped up by 15%, and the speed of revives is increased to 25%. This bonus is only given to the heat shields that have been activated by the ring, so you have you generally have to be out like in the ring itself. Um, heat shield can, uh, on standby in the safe zone are conserving energy and don't grant this bonus. But how long does, will this last? 
But watch out the heat shield slowly degrade as it counts the damage by the ring. The damage of the ring is just deflected, um, it's reflected basically. So it's expect to last bit longer than the final rounds. Oh, so it's like, in the earlier rounds, yeah, it can take a lot more beating to it so it can last a lot longer. But in the final rounds, it will go much quicker. Perfect, yeah, that makes sense. After the ring fury escalation takeover concludes, the heat should remain in the game as a general ground loot debate, as it usually does. Now, the survival slot. I'm very intrigued about this. So, as we can see here, we've got... Yeah. You'll notice that the heat shield doesn't take up any of your normal inventory slots. Instead, it resides in a brand new survival slot. The survival slot aims to eliminate the choice between normal loot and situational utilities like a mobile respawn beacon or a heat shield. Aha! This... I like. I like this because, at the end of the day... The mobile respawn beacon um, wasn't. I personally wasn't using that as much as compared to other other loot. I prefer having healing items and everything like that. That actually makes a lot more sense. And I'm going to use the use the mobile respawn beacons and the heat shield a lot more often, especially as we can use it for team play. So we can use like mobile respawn beacons at the beginning of the game. So if we die or anything like that, we can respawn our teammates. We can use that at the beginning of the game. But as we get, continue throughout the game, we can swap them out for a more of a heat shield because that can be better uh, use to us. Now there's no reason to not carry one of these on our to coordinate with your team and the possibility for more survival tactic saws. I really like this change. Well done, developers. I cannot wait what, how this can be actually used, especially in the pro league sectors. It's really interesting. Introducing escalation takeovers. Okay, like the previous playlist takeovers, Ring Fury will face regular duos and trios. Yeah, based on what we had before. Ranks will not be affected. Yeah, as we know this. However, unlike previous ta uh, takeovers, Ring Fury is an escalation takeover, which means that every few days during the event, we're going to turn on some knobs. Anyone want to point out the sex room in, in your window? No? Alright, we'll just do now. Uh, and cramp cut the per, um, whatever, the timing size of ring cut. So it just means that they're going to turn things up and by the end of the two weeks we're all going to fucking hate this game mode, aren't we? <laughs> you can expect, uh, by the end of the event you can expect five different stages of escalation. Oh, okay. Exciting! Yes. As Pathfinder will say, no field matchmaking. This is scary. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, on the download, I think. I, I I'm like 21, okay. I still have no idea what that means. Okay, I have no fucking clue. So if you put it in the comments below to say what it means, I'm fucking useless as it is. Uh, no field matchmaking is a new way to play the, the games as a solo legend. Here's how it works and why you might want to choose it. It's basically a way for solo players. This is a way. Oh, for fuck's sake, no. Well, yes and no. I don't think Apex was used for just having solos. The whole point of the game was that it was... <laughs> Look. I'm not one to purely complain about this, but come on! <laughs> sure, okay. Well, sure. In the lobby, you'll see a checkbox right here, okay? Uh, fill matchmaking. This means that the matchmaking system will attempt to fill your squad to duos or trios, whichever you feed for. This is how the game has worked up until this point, and will be the default setting after every match you play. Uncheck this box and click it, so you all have to check, uh, uh, like, check it, uncheck it if you genuinely want to check it after each match. Like, I can guess that could be quite annoying, but sure. So if you solo queue with the trios and feel much making an object, you're going alone. it will be in a team of one against a team of three. So yeah, so it's, very, it's basically solo queue. This is literally it. And great, sort of. I don't know what to say. You could literally be having an entire thing, like a 30 man thing. No, I, I don't see this going well. <laughs> no offence. This may be taken out. Uh, we strongly believe that Aspect Apex Legends is about team play. Yes, exactly, but 
We're launching this no fill matchmaking as an option for solo players because we think it gives lots of creative opportunities for you to play the game your way. True, game development isn't just about how the developers feel about it, it's just about how. Um, I think it, it's up to the player at the end of the day. It's not just my opinions about the overall opinion of everyone else. And I completely agree with this, it's just me going. Nyah, 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 nyah. Complaining like a spoiled brat almost. Um, but yeah, honestly, this is this is interesting. Focus on completing uh, certain dailies and weeklies. Let me know what warm up, hot drop, and get into that. That's uh, basically given reasons of why you might want to uh, solo queue. Uh, and of course, we know we've got the Chaos Theory Collection event and Wars Track. And then we've got all these unique skins. I like it. Oh, that's kind of good, actually. I really like that. Ooh! I may be spending a lot of money on this. I mean, I'm... <laughs> Don't give money to EA, guys. Think with your wallet. I, on the other hand, will give them about 120 quid. <laughs> well, what else am I going to do with the money? I can't go to the hairdressers. But this piece of shit hair. I've got to wait until about, like, May time or something until that gets away. Um... So yeah, we've got the Bangalore heirloom as we talked about. It looks pretty cool. Uh, we know all about this already. And here, I didn't expect this to go up so soon, but here is some uh, legend updates. Interesting. So we've got the Nox gas. This is changing quite a bit. So the Nox gas grenade cooldown is increased from two and a half minutes to three and a half minutes. Perfect. The Nox gas has been Ooh, it's been nerfed. From a flat rate of 5 uh, health per tick into the ramping from 6 health to 12 health. So it does make it a lot less annoying. So let's uh, let's see what they say about this. Dev note, Caustic is brutally effective at slowing down engagements. It's entirely of his kit rolls around gas with a large area of effects. Uh, slow vision obstruction and direct health damage. Proven to be too oppressive in too many scenarios, especially considering teammates. Playing the gas relatively unimpaired, significantly reducing the gas damage without taking it away completely, or having it affect armor instead, seems like a fair compromise. Alright, I understand that. Pathfinder and has been removed. Uh, uh, low profile has been removed. Alright, I mean, fair enough. His hitbox does justify just having normal. Gibraltar! Oh, what have we done to Gibraltar? Because you've literally made him basically obsolete almost. <laughs> okay, you, you, you're making him more obsolete. Perfect. Okay. It's removing 15% removed of faster heal items usage in the dome protection. Even though the newest item, which technically acts as Gibraltar's ability, I don't know. I don't know. It's then getting like 50% if it's in if it's in the ring, of course. I don't know. I I think this is really hurting Gibraltar. This whole update, it's really hurting him. And his plan, I think they're gonna have Gibraltar at an all-time low. Maybe that's what their intentions. Maybe it's still gonna go to other legends. I don't know. But this was possibly one of their stupid mistakes. Horizon! Hey! Increase black hole cooldown from 2 minutes to 3 minutes. Ah, oh, sure. I would have liked to increase uh, Horizon's, uh, like, uh, her black hole like, from sucking in, but sure, you want to increase the cooldown. Sure. Revenant. Revenant Silence now disables Mirage Cloak and Revive. <gasps> Ooh! Revive and respawn as well as Octane's Swift Men. I like this. I really like that. Okay. That does make sense. Uh, that's a bit of a buff to Revenant. Revenant's going to be increasing in the player base. Watson. Watson now has a passive shield regen at zero. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Just don't make her more powerful. What are you doing? What is this? I don't know what this voice is about. <laughs> no, this is, this is stupid. This is really fucking stupid. 
do you wanna she's already really overpowered especially with her thing and you want to make her more overpowered yes i understand that every scene you've got to change a little bit around and make a few buffs but this is this is stupid irresponsible even I'm joking around but come on all right, Watson is becoming more OP. Sure, why not? Ramparks, the most damage, amp cover normally. Uh, normal. Oh wait, I don't know. Explosive damage, amp cover normally. This is normal to total damage. Okay. Ex explosive damage, Sheila normally. This is inflicted 175 damage. Okay. Uh, weapon updates. Uh, weapon optics, all gold. Uh, AR and L energy. Default objects updated two ton cruiser. Cool, okay, I like that. Mastiff! I know a few people out there are, are looking at this and going, finally! So, pellet damage decreased from 13 to 11, and increasing the fire rates from 1.0 to 1.1. Oh dear, the Mastiff is getting a lot of nerf. It, it's got a big old nerf. <laughs> Oh dear, this is, this is, this is not good. This is not good whatsoever. Um, yeah, I'm, I like the, I like using the Mastiff because it's overpowered. But sure, it, for, for balancing uh, for sake, yeah, it kind of needed it. Um, let's look at the death note. The goal of these changes are to place this weapon's identity between the fast fire Eva 8 and the heavy hitting Peacekeeper. The Mastiff has consistently been dominant in close quarters combat, giving its forgiving spread pattern and high damage spike to each shot. This change reduces the high damage potential in order to limit the amount of two pumps players experience on the hub receiving end. This does make absolutely sense. And I understand it. I'm also disappointed, but I completely understand it. Uh, at the end of the day, it was overpowered, and if I had a chart if before the see before this uh, buff comes out, if I have the option between a peacekeeper and a mastiff, I will always choose the mastiff. Because it was too good. It was you, yes, there was a little bit more because um, the peacekeeper was an heirloom weapon. It, it was technically better, but it wasn't worth going out your way just trying to get a peacekeeper. With this, it's definitely going to put some mileage between. Peacekeeper and the Mastiff, and I can't fucking shoot with an Eva 8, so obviously the Mastiff is going to be my preferred choice. And no one in hell is touching the Mozambique, unless it's early game and everything in between. The Wingman, plus one bullet to every magazine collide. Oh, brilliant! The Wingman is getting a buff that he doesn't fucking deserve. Hemlock, increase, uh, increase hit fire spread. Okay. Uh, because of the changes, is there anything? Yeah, we, we, we know that the loot is partially changed because we've got new stuff. Locked weapon, yeah, we know this. Badge progress, so if you're into badges, you can look at this. Ping my death box. Oh no, that's just really annoying, isn't it? Gold backpack. Uh, pay is being revived by the gold backpack with crackle of energy. That's means nothing to me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, inspect weapon. Yeah. All right, that's basically everything. Okay. Uh, I am wondering a little bit, like what you thought about everything you saw here, because I'm interested, but I'm also scared for the future of Apex Legends, especially with that Watson buff. That could be a little bit overpowered, especially in the pro league and all that other stuff. I don't know why I'm doing this with Watson. I'm like, yeah, boy. Ugh. Video. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy it. I'm hope you. I'm looking forward to this new Apex Town Takeover. To be fair, uh, I'm looking towards the new lore. I'm just about to finish the new Apex Legends book, the Pathfinder's Quest, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm just about to get on to Chapter 11, which is the final one with Blisk. Um, and I'm hoping you're enjoying Apex Legends so, so far, and I really do hope you enjoyed this video as well. So that's probably enough talk for me. You're probably bored of my voice at this rate, and you're probably thinking to yourself, why did I click on this video? But if you did enjoy this video, and you really have enjoyed it, 
Click that like button below, it really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. I'm going to stop twitching around, I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, have a good day. Bye bye!